it all and welcome welcome back to the channel man i hope everybody's having a flipping wonderful day wherever you are in this flipping world and whenever you're watching this man appreciate everybody being here uh horizon forbidden west just released a couple of days ago for the pc and uh and we're enjoying this for the very first time please no storyline spoilers um but uh any gameplay and mechanic tips are well appreciated because this old dude can barely turn on the computer. So here we go. Horizon Forbidden West. Uh, yeah, let's enjoy some more of this uh, for a couple hours here today. Man. Mom, how's it going? Major Zap. Danny, man. Bluebell. Midnight Gamer, how's you doing, man? Appreciate everybody being here. Appreciate all the watchers. All the chatters, all the lurkers, all the non naughty bots. And of course, everybody watches the replay later on whatever flipping platform. You should so choose. Here we go. Let's get right back to the game. I tell you what, man, even this title screen just looks, look at this, the quality of the water, the waves, man, makes me, it, it, it's March when we're uh, recording this and it makes me want to get back to the beach there. Been a while since I've been on the beach. Look at that. Then of course you got this little red stuff over here. It's not so good. Don't want to go over there. All right, let's continue. Lukester, how's it going? Welcome. Welcome to the live stream. Appreciate you being here, man. And if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget to hit the uh, thumbs up there. And if you are new to the channel, welcome and consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate y'all. All right, so we just got into this town. We were checking in some things. the master override to my new spear. All right. There should be a workbench around here I can use. So we got to go find this uh, workbench. I do appreciate the fact that they, um, is this is a workbench. It looked like a workbench to me. And we looks like we got a couple of quests that are going on here too. Uh, you can toggle the visibility. Uh, what? General sections of the setting. Toggle the visibility. Right? I heard Aloy uh, single-handedly took down four billion animals. And, uh, yeah. The story gets bigger and bigger every time it's told. Gotta be... Hmm. Almost ready to go? We ain't ready to go, man. What's all this? I don't know, man. I'm trying to find uh, the workbench. They said there's supposed to be a workbench around here. I would have thought that was a flipping workbench, but little do I know. Flip. Wait a minute. What's 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 going on here? Wait a minute. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but. It's just a piece of scrap now. Wow. Cool. All right. Looking for a workbench. In my life, looking for a workbench in my life. Keep at it, everyone. Where the flip is a flippin' flippin' workbench, man. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. Mm hmm Uh, maybe I gotta go up there to modify it. Maybe that's what they want. Light melee attacks are fast and can detach armor plates from small machines. Tap G to perform a heavy. There. What? The workbench. Tap G? Dead Nightmare, how you doing? Just watch Tremors 4. Wow. Was that any good? Did you enjoy it? Uthid, Fanasha, thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. 
Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Vanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've gotta go, go. With our blessing. Always. Mm. How have you been? You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk. May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I just fell asleep while you were talking. Oh, flip. How about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman, two parts bodyguard, one part bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. That's cute. I never pictured you as a nanny. Edaman must be special. Hold on now. I'm not entirely domesticated. Nasadi was the mad Sun King's wife. She has enemies. I've had to foil a plot or two. Right. You can try to hide it. But inside, you're as soft as a silk pillow. Oh, you have no idea. Huh? Oh, dear. Uh, we were talking about Edaman? Yeah. Okay, I admit it. Edaman's cute. He's fun. And he looks up to me. I like him. Except when he forgets to wash his hands after hooking worms in that muddy garden behind a solarium. Blech. Cute. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? <laughs> After you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow. So the commoners cleaned out the Citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <sighs> well, I, I know. I know. You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. That's a cute little exchange, man. That was pretty wonderful. All right. There we go. All right. Spear upgrade. Installs a master override and new module to enable the build up and release of kinetic energy in combat. Requires a resonator blast skill to use. Got it. Okay. I guess we got that skill. Spear crafted. All right. Is that it? Is that all we're supposed to do? Okay. Master override installed. <clears throat> Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. Got it. Talk to our friends. I thought we talked to our friends. Where's our friends, man? Wasn't that our friends? What, we got more friends? Flip, man. Why we got so many friends? What are we doing with all these friends, huh? We done left them hanging. We went out adventuring while they was all stuck here cleaning up our mess. We call those friends? They call us friends? Flip. And another band of Eyes up here, sister! Looks like a memorial. Mm. Honoring those who fell in the battle of the Alight. Yeah, that's right, Lukester. This place from Hades. Game is looking amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, look at the detail on these flowers right here. Yeah. Really good. Of me? 
That's new. I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. Cool. Alright, so we're supposed to talk to our friends. Talk to Marad and Varl. Okay, there's Marad and Varl. There's something over here. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? Oh, you enjoy. My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? Ah, uh, cute. You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. Hey, we Stormy Cat. Lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. So you said there is a photo mode. There's the photo mode. Precision mode. On. Off. On. Toggle grid. View roll. Hide player. Oh, wow. So we could actually face paint. Wow. Dude, can I please, please. There we go. What is this? There's days. There's, there's way too many buttons on this thing. That's all I can say. Are you sure you want to close it? Flip yeah. That's way too much crap to look at. So if we go here, and then we do photo mode. Um. Oh, we can roll it. Wow. Like that. At her face paint. Look at that. All different kinds of face paints. Boy, you could get lost in this one for like four hours. Savior, everything's just the way you left. Wow. We made sure of it. Gibbles, how we doing? You're loving the stream and the game. Awesome, awesome. All right, uh, where else we got to go? We're supposed to be talking to our friends, but where are our friends, man? Probably over here, right here. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but after years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce in hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. Mm. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. 
Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Baron Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like metals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. How about you bet that they're going to get ambushed when they go there? No storyline spoilers, please. I'm just thinking in my head. If this has been a bad battle, they're just trying to lure him and his group over there. What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. Uh. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a <clears> son <throat> of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. I agree, Gibbles. The face expressions, the side glances, all those things are amazing. I I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly perhaps wow and you can tell from her expression she got that little shy girl oh no we ain't going down that path of that conversation oh flashpoints offer moments of emotional choice Choose and Aloy will confront the challenge directly. Choose and Aloy will use her insight and her brain. Choose the heart. 
compassion. Voice her deepest convictions. Are you flipping kidding? Now is not the time. Oh, it's such a nice thought. Man, this could change the whole relationship. If I say, are you flipping kidding me? We ain't ever going to wind up in his bed. But we don't want to be in anybody's bed. Let's go. Now's not the time. Oh God, the, the <laughs> there it is. The situation calls for a, a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. <laughs> What happens between us, it's not important. At least, not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Eloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. All right, we talked to our friends. Marad and Vile, let's go. Well, that's everyone. I guess it was nice to catch up for a little while. No, that ain't everything. They got loot up here. There we go. You had to bring it up, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm to try, but how's your business doing? There's some loot over there, too. Can we make it? Can we make this jump? You give me a nickel if I make it? Here we go. Let's go. Whoa! Flip. There we go. Easy. Easy. Nailed it. First try. Sorry, buddy. I know you're hammering out that rock there. There we go. What do we got? What do we got going on here? Another one over there. Oh, hold my beer. Hold my... Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. We're not supposed to be here. We're not supposed to be here. Oh, we can, that could be a problem. Oh, flip. Wow. We almost got caught outside the game. Where was it? It was over there. Flip. Can I can I please get up there? Can I please get 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 me up there? Come on, Peter Park car time. Let's go. What? Flame and Nora, what? Huh? There we go. This way. A nickel. There it is. <laughs> oh flip. Can we go here? We go here. Oh, flip. That ain't the way to go. All right. Oh, I could have broke the game. That could be a problem. Oops. I told you not to go here. You were going to break the game. I done told you not to go there. Oh, flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Flip it. There we go. Got it. Nailed it. We're out of here. <laughs> oh, flip. How do we get up there, man? How do we get up there? There's loot up there, but how do we get there? Hey, hmm. I thought you'd left by now. What? Hmm. This we gotta go. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. What was it? E? It's been a day. I've slept since then. No, that ain't it. Get up there. There it is. Where, where was it? There it is. Over there. Yeah. 
Yeah, but if I use the grappling hook all the time, where would be the fun in that? <laughs> oh, flip. There it is. A training dummy. Oh, he ain't no dummy. in the rubble don't want another blast so I like the fact that they're still kind of cleaning things up that's pretty cool all right here we go are you ready to go or do you need a little more time Nope. Time to go. I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Baron Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it. Um, Gibbles, yeah, you got the bow and the uh, spear, but then there's going to be different things that you can add to that bow um, and the, the sling. They can have energy, they can have frost, they can have fire. So, you know, kind of magical to a degree, but yet more rooted in science. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Look at the textures. Look at that. I reached level 60. 20, 30, 40, 50, level 60. There it is. And just like that. We have now finished the game. Everybody have a wonderful night. And thank you very much. GG. That's actually the end of the intro now. We're actually starting the game. <laughs> Beautiful game. Yeah, all that was just the intro. About a four hour intro. Three and a half hours into this.
Beautiful game. Beautiful game. We're going to take our time with this game. We're going to enjoy it. Exactly, Lukester. Going over the Rockies. Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes. I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then who would crank it back up? <laughs> fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. Yeah, I think the original game was set in Colorado. I think. I see smoke, but not a lot of activity. Yeah, Cornholio. This, this is the. This is the second quiet, game. There's a Forbidden West. In effect because of all the fuss. <laughs> It just Most came out. Machines are causing the trouble. Mm. Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Um, this one just came out on PC on Thursday. Showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them. Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvent. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said that ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Cranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man. So he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! Great. This is so cool. I mean, look at the details on the gears. The Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides Scallywag? Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well... That lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy at Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the sun priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See, scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll. Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Ha <laughs> ha! Flip, Dumbo? yeah! Yeah, said they'd check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. 
Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the Smith and Chain Scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Ah! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun. Ah! This is awesome. Trust me. This is flipping awesome. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit Chain Scrape first and upgrade my bow. Press H to reveal the full HUD and review your current quest. Oh, thank God. Who's this? Oh. Uh, Commander's Mandate. Scroll. Short parchment. Tab. View in the notebook. The gates between Baron Light and No Man's Land are hereby entered, shut, and sealed. None are allowed passage until further notice. No exceptions. Hmm. I got to remember these uh, controls because I remember they were very different from the other game. I think it's an F to craft... And then we should be able to do other arrows now. Go to the chain scrape, find Aaron. Go to Aaron's last known location. Yay! A quick save and a manual save. Nice. Yeah, it was really good dialogue. I'm enjoying it. So we can do fast travel. Where's that boar? Give me a boar. Got to be something up here. Oh, I think the price is very cheap right now on the first game. And I, um, yeah, I just completed the first one uh, just a few days ago. Actually, I think on Thursday morning, the day this one rolled out. So some of my complaints are that they've changed the key bindings on the games, which is understandable with many years, but I mean, they're radically different and it's actually, I feel like the key bindings are a lot more difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. I we'll have to see as the game goes along. There it is. can make use of this. Is there a way to get down there? Hmm. 
Yeah. So I probably can't probably can't override any of these critters yet. Yeah, I, I don't know, man, but it was kind of annoying for me. Machines weak to fire. We'll, we'll just see how it goes. It was F. No. It was F before. Now it's... What? Oh, my Lord. It's a tap of the R. Totally missed. Flip. Not even close. Flip. Much better. Flip. Okay, that could have gone a little more smooth. I was hoping to lure him over so I could uh, <laughs> uh, silently kill him rather than going into a big fight. That's all right. We got it. Those machines must have torn through this camp. This valley definitely isn't safe. Hmm. F... What is that up there? That's that boar from before. Is it 
the extra stock for later. Don't roll down that hill. Nice. Ready for anything now? All right, grease stained scroll filled with hastily scrawled glyphs. These sun lickers and their scorched out diplomacy. Let's not fuss around the forge. It's a pretty word. The cars are used for not stepping on to knock toes, which they shouldn't. They have every reason to be afraid of those brutes, but I'm not Karja. I didn't try and invade. Writing this was supposed to calm me down, but it only blew up the bellows. The longer the, that gate stays closed, the more shards I lose. I've had it. I'm heading over to Baron Light. Someone's going to get a blast of hot air for all the good it'll do. What? Hmm. What is that? Green. What is that green? I don't know. Yeah, Lukester, no worries. Uh, thank you, man. Much love back to you. Flip, you're amazing. Small valuables up there. Go up there. Oh, whoops, whoops. Up there and see what's up here. What was that? Oh, a rock? flip are we doing all the way up here what she's flipping nuts what the flip are you doing girl holy ship no flipping 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 wow 
we get up there? Just can we just get on the ledge? What is this? Flipping Assassin Creed? Get up there! Get up right there! A flipping ledge! Just drop! What the hell's wrong with you, girl? I saw something up there. A flip was it? There is something up there. And we gonna get it. We gonna get it. We gonna get it good. What are we doing up here? Seen better days. Flip. Can we get up there? Get up. Get. Can we get up there? Nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, what do we got going on here? Huh? Something else up there? That looks like loot to me. No, oh, flipping way. Get down. Get down. I oh, mean, we could have taken the easy way up there. Look, man, why didn't you tell me? There it is. Ice. Is there more? Oh, there is more up there. Flip. Flip. But he do da flip. But hey, hey! Oh, flip! Flip, flip, flip! Flip, 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 flip. Down. Over. Holy Felicia! Can't believe we're doing this. Some wow. Kind of device. The metal reflects the sun. Send a signal? Looks like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. Oh, shit. I thought we was going to jump off of there. Holy flip. Woo. Um, there's got to be a uh, way to... Rep oh, here it is right here. There it is. Wow! Holy flip. Hey, oh, my goodness. There it is. Can't get rid of the vines. Not yet, anyway. I don't think I can get past them. Guess I should leave it for now. What? What do you mean, leave it for now? What do you... What? Look at that. Oh, we're gonna have to get an upgrade to get in there. What about this thing? That's cool! Alright, so we'll have to get an upgrade to figure out how to do this. That's cool. Like, we're probably supposed to be in this area, like, later. Whoa! Right, right, exactly, exactly. Oh man, there's so many, so many things right on the edge. There's grapple points.
No flip. Get back. Get back up there, girl. Go. Go. Squeal like a pig. Pig. Oh, are we supposed to be going this way? Go to... Oh. We're supposed to be going that way, aren't we? Hmm. And find Aaron. Okay, so Aaron is that way. But claims something. A chain scrape is somewhere over there. Alright, so we got two quests going right now. Alright, we're... Right in the middle of them. Hmm. Um, where are our quests? Skills. We got, ooh, we got skills? We got skills. Inventories. Tools. Resources. Special gear. Skills. Survivor. We got two skill points. Warrior. You've earned your first skill point. Skill points are gained by leveling up and completing quests and activities. Choose a skill tree and tap to open it. Danny man, how's he going? The warrior. Unlock new melee combos. Trapper. Increase the effectiveness of traps. Hunter. Increase ranged combat. I think that's going to be a big one. Survival. Effectiveness of healings and potions. Infiltrator. Reduce visibility and movement noise. I like that. Machine Master. The effectiveness of overriding machines. There's about 30 in each one. Wow. That's crazy. All right. Let's see what Hunter does. Oh, flip. What is this? Use a skill. One point. Concentration. Deep concentration. Concentration regen. All right. So that is only one point. Hmm. Hmm. All right. And then if we were to go to warrior. First strike. An enemy with melee attacks to build up energy on your spear. Nor a warrior. Hmm. Block breaker. First, strike an enemy. To build up energy. Then when fully charged, tap G to energize your target. Finally, switch to a bow and shoot the energy on the target to deal a large amount of damage. Alright, so we're going to strike the enemy. Let's watch the movie. Strike him. Hold tap G to energize it. And then use the bow. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Medicinal berries provide more healing and heal you faster. Yes. Done. Hunter. Ranged combat. What? There we go. Got it. Cool. All right, let's keep going this way. Um, what about our map? What is this? Oh, wow. Here's here's where we are. We're just now starting out. Flip. We got some up here. What's this? An unknown shelter? We got an unknown campfire? We got all kinds of things here. Cool. Let's go. Like I said, we're going to take our time with this game.
Um, we do have, oh, look, this map is even, this map is 3D-ish. That is cool, the way this map is set up. Now, if the other one was like this, I didn't notice it. Because I don't notice a lot of things. All right, so we want to kind of go back around this area. See what we can do about clearing that out, too. Just to kind of get the, the campfires. Yeah, so we'll go backwards. We'll go do this one first. Cane scrape. Hmm. You know what? We've been at this for about an hour. I'm going to go ahead and take a quick uh, two, three minute break, and then we'll come back with some more of this. Be right back. There we go, and we're back. All right, so let's go back here. Let's um resume. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if I want to go to this town first. Let's go ahead and go there. See if we've got anything to do there, and then we'll go backwards up into here, clear out these animals, get this campfire, this campfire, and then see what this question mark is, and then push on down to meet with Aaron. All right, cool. So let's go this way, I think. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are we 700 meters away? Why is it so far away? It said it was like 400 a minute ago. Oh, flip. It's not... I want me to go here. What the flip? It's only giving me one location to go to. Okay, where's the other one? That one. Oh, that's... Oh, that's the town right there. A oh, flip. What in the heck is going on with this? There we go. Yeah, there's so many of these little flowers that are right on the ledge. 
This makes me nervous. This pigment would work well in armor. I wonder if some look at those butterflies. That's amazing. Wonder if I should get Aaron first. Oh, flip. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. There we go. Might Upgrade the bow. With my other gear too. Secret ingredient for someone, I'll bet. So yeah, we have to upgrade our stuff at workbenches now. We can't really craft on the fly. Which is probably a good thing. I think it'll add a new dimension to the game. Although that was part of the joy of the first game. That we could kind of go around and try to upgrade our pouches. Upgrade, um, you know, how much we could carry as far as our ammo. Craft ammo on the fly. I thought the crafting was very easy in the first game. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. Yep, there's going to be quests inside there. Look at this. Same thing. Can we fish? Can we fish? I think they took the fishing out. Ah, oh, flip. I'm going to do that a lot. Yeah, I think they took the fishing out. What is that? Green shine. You have found a piece of green shine, a rare, valuable resource hidden all over the world. Green shine can be used for upgrading certain weapons and outfits or trading with specific merchants. Mitch, how you doing there, man? Oh my goodness, Mitch. It is so good to see you. Appreciate you, man. Oh, Microchip, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the live stream. And so good to see all of you here. Brand new game just came out uh, on the PC release Thursday. Is there an ammo over there? How you been, Mitch? Hope you're doing well, man. It's a dead machine. It must be a bristleback. Maybe Aaron took it down.
Your son is growing up tomorrow night. Oh, your son's going to be old enough to work tomorrow. That's awesome. Ground soaked with acid. Did the first blacks do this? Hmm. Come in, Savior. Chainscape. Welcome to Chainscape, Savior. Open up, guys. Jor of orders. Good enough for me. Nice heavy door. By the Oh. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. Oh. Nice to see you too. Look at that. Not a moment too soon. Come on. I. Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrapes always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our prop. The bristlebacks are everybody's prop. Roland, you've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Wow. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Wow. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. It's a little tension there in that relationship, to too. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Right? Let's upgrade the bow. Upgrade the hunter bow. Oh no, microchip, you are perfectly fine. You are good. Welcome to the live stream. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Upgrade this bow first. That whistle, no one's working it. <laughs> Workbench is free if you need to tinker with that gear. Thinking of upgrading that gear? There we go. All right, weapon upgrades, outfit upgrades, trap crafting, pouch upgrades. Oh, yeah. Pouch upgrades. Squirrel hides. We need raccoon hides. We need boar hides. We need squirrel bones. We need boar bones. So just like before, we need to upgrade all of our satchels. I like the look and feel of this. This looks really nice. 
Ah, uh, the frost blast sling. No. How about the bow? Hunter bow. Um, unlocks new ammo, increases weapon stats. How do we do it? Favored by Nora Hunters, this balance all-purpose bow is best suited for mid-range combat. It can be upgraded to deal greater damage and deliver acid payloads. Right, how do we do it? Okay, there it is. Metal shards and braided wire. Um, upgrade with a space. Acid hunter arrows. What's the next one? We need, oh, we've got all that. What will this one do? So we go straight to the acid arrows in this one. Create a job. What's a create a job? Would you like to set this job as your active quest? Oh, nice, 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 nice. All right, so we could do that. Um, the other thing could, what do we need to do to out change our outfit? Um, what? We can't do that? Our outfit? Dirty hard plate? So it'll upgrade it to, from 0 to 2, 0 to 2, 12 to 18 on acid. That'll be good. All right. Hmm. So we could upgrade this more. All right. And then what about our weapon? Here. Blast sling. Can we upgrade that? What will that do? If we do that, what will that do? It'll increase it from 14 to 17 and our frost 30 to 40. Hmm. I think the bow. We go to two. That'd be a lot better on the bow. Now, can we do more on the outfit? We can still do more on the outfit. That's good. All right. Straps. Couch upgrades. We can do one of them. Um... This one, we can upgrade the bomb satchel. Nice. All right, so we basically need to hunt a lot of animals. Nice. An ammo that deals acid damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies and see if they are weak to acid. Hitting enemies with acid will build up. The corroding state. Once in this state, an enemy's armor takes damage over time and has reduced damage resistance. Shoot acid canisters with acid arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. This should be useful. Now I just need to find Aaron and help him clear the bristlebacks. Uh, Microchip says, Grandpa, you're doing great. What can I say? You are amazing. Krasava, even though I'm old enough to be your son, you're 36 on March 27th. Well, that's not the point. The point is that you're good at your, uh, your respect. 
Awesome. Microchip, thank you so much for the kind words. I appreciate the fact that you don't understand English, that you don't speak English, but you understand a lot. Thank you so much for being here. There we go. What do we got here? This is your stash. It can be found in every settlement, as well as many other locations throughout the world. When you gather items beyond your carrying capacity, excess items will be sent to your stash. From here, you can retrieve items individually or restock all your resources by holding R. Hope to catch you soon. By upgrading your pouches, you can increase your carry capacity. All right, so there's my stash. A lot of extra stuff that we've carried. Oh, so whenever it said it was going to my stash, I thought it was going to the bottom end of the inventory. How things were sectioned off, I thought it was going to the bottom end. But no, we've collected so much, it's actually gone here. That's crazy. What do we have here? A metal bone. A fanghorn antler. Inventory. Raccoon hide. Boar hide. Aren't we a cypher? So what can I do you for? Wish I had your gear. I'd be off in the west getting me some adventuring. All right, maybe they maybe they won't talk to me until I finish the Aaron quest thing. There was also there was also a green question or a green exclamation point, which generally means a quest. Oh, that hey, is Milda. looking awesome. Milda. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. It felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. <sighs> Not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven didn't send you no oh my apologies it's just that his minions won't stop pestering me <sighs> now i've even worn out my special grill since i'm in the midst of a crisis perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted some of your food of course are alvin's people causing you problems oh yeah they constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals, not trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. I was in need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... But my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless 
you can source me a temporary replacement? There it what is. Need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in a scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Smildiff. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. That was a wonderful exchange. You know, and I'm I'm feeling the same with every conversation. Here. Just need to grab a metal panel for the scrounger. I am literally overjoyed with all of these little conversations and the RP-ness that is going on here. I mean they could have just said, Quest, go talk to this guy to teach you how to cook out in the wild. But this was a real pleasant exchange in that conversation. A dash of courage. Gather five meat. That. I've already got the bitter leaf. I've got the meat. I just need to do that. And we get 800 experience and a skill point like that. We got to go to that scrounger. Let's do it. Where is it? How far away? 600s. Is that another fire? That's the same fire. Is this guy's name really Dung? Oh, Derg. Oh, Derg. I thought it said Oh, Dung. I'm like, Oh, Dung. Flip. Ah. Uh, gonna be a guy to teach you how to fight. Man, I'm I'm enjoying the game so much so far. Boomer, Della, Herbalist, Remedies. Let's go that way. Oh, they won't let me they won't let me do this yet. Flip. Now they're not gonna let me talk to these people yet until I complete probably the Aaron quest. Go out this way and go to the left. get up there how do I get up there I get through there yep there we go
Man, I like the look of this town, man. This, you know, when you think about a post-apocalyptic town, I mean, look at this. It's a mix mash of, of metals and wood and just all odds and ends. The way it should look. Kind of going back to Yurdish style. Hammers for hire. What we got? What happened to you? That damn mine is what happened to me. <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels. What mine? Northeast of chain scrape. Where the river ends? I told Corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened, but... <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay. Or worse. How about you slow down and take me through it? You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get him open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Look at this guy. I mean, the the hunched over nature, um, the the eyes. He looks like he's tired and hurt. He looks like a big strong guy that's kind of tired, beat up, and hurt. Looks really good. And I'm just amazed at the, the details that have been put into this game. Really, really good. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvind's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable, I'd rather suffer Olven's wrath than die buried in rubble. Then you got the lady off to the side. She's holding her elbow. You can tell she's not feeling good either. In some sort of a medical tent or something. I could check in on your crew if I'm in the area. I... Would appreciate that. Thank you. There we go. Deep trouble. All right, so does this, like the other one, show... So there's the deep trouble. I wanted to go that way anyway. That works out. Isn't that great how that works out? There's a new quest right here, too. Let's check that one out. Oh, sorry, bro. Red hair is a sign of genius, you know. We are on the same side here, Olin. The bristlebacks threaten what? us all. I wasn't oh, paying attention. This will be in my stash when I need it. The who let the bristlebacks into the valley sent them straight. What do you want, Olin? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. 
face it. What other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the Savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my... saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well... Best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being parchment bullied, pusher. intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh... Burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. Then just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. Uh-huh. All of it? Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town. But with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Nice. Let's see what that Karja magistrate wanted. That's the bristle back. So these aren't so the fire campfires aren't turning green. Like in the first game. Interesting. He's in the tavern. Oh, we've been there. All right, we've been there. Where are we going? I'll drink you under the table. What? Hmm. How did I miss it? Now it wants me to go up here. There it is.
All right, a, a complaint from Smudged with Ash and Phil, a complaint form smudged with ash and filled with angry glyphs. Am I surprised? Am I sad? Nobody can tell since I no longer have eyebrows. Refund denied. Customer was made fully aware of the prototype's volatility. Well, that's the... Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. <laughs> concession decree. What is this concession decree that Olvent wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence uh. why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. SLPCLK. However you say your name. Appreciate you being here. I hope you're having a flipping wonderful day. Man. Yeah, just enjoying this game. Most definitely. Appreciate you being here. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> well, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. All right. And the first sighting. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, well, maybe Olvent will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. All right, so there's that. Search west of the quarry for the bristlebacks. All right. I want to do this other one, though. I don't want to go out this way. I want to go back this way. So let's go to these two quests here first. And then we'll come back, grab Aaron. Then we'll uh, go back to here. And somewhere in the process, see if we've got more uh, crafting upgrades to do. Cool. All right. Yeah, SLPCLK, uh, however you say your name, but I appreciate you dropping in and uh, got a wonderful looking channel there. Looks like you got a lot of really good content. Um, I see Red Dead. I see Call of Duty. We're going to be doing some Call of Duty a little bit later and uh, in about uh, three hours from now. Yeah. If you enjoy doing that, then uh, you're welcome to join us. All right. Let's uh, go do this. Dash of Courage on the way. See if we can hunt some animals. Let's go. 
Oh, I like the smokiness. I like the smokiness here in this uh, tavern. This is awesome. Absolutely perfect. Look at this food. The hog roast. That is awesome. So many awesome touches to this game. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying this game. Let's go. 500 meters to go this way. Um, how's the fast travel working in this game? Um, we did have... What's this? Missing tool needed. Oh, we can't go in there. Can we go here? We did go through there. Crimson Narrows. Where did we come down at? I should have checked, man. Alright, I should have checked. This might be where we came in at. Can I go there? No, that one's locked. Why are, why are all these campfires locked? Oh, it's a right click. Um, cost one travel pack. No, we'll walk. Hmm. Wonder if there's going to be a golden travel pack in this game also. So we needed like... Um, I don't, I don't have overrides yet. We haven't done a, um, cauldron yet. Um, it looks like we needed one of each kind of animal for the hides or two for the upgrades. Raccoon, boar, flip, I don't know, something like that. So let's do a lot of serious hunting. I'm sorry, boar. But you're on the dinner menu. Let's go. Cool. What's a little brazier for. Wonder what that brazier serves for. Uh, I keep wanting to pulse it. You actually have to hold it down, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Go up this way a little. Gotta be some flipping animals around here somewhere. Yeah, I want to upgrade all those pouches. I wonder, anybody else has uh, just finished the first game? I, I played this first game, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, for the very first time. And I wonder how many other people have just played Horizon Zero Dawn, just finished it just in time for this game. And now they're like, where's all my... Uh, Where's all my storage? I want to get it like right away and just blaze through it. I think I might like the crafting though with the workbench. Uh, being able to upgrade the bow rather than buy new bows. Yeah. Wait a minute now. She was able to ride, wasn't she? He was riding in here into the beginning of the game. Fire Fang Horn. Unknown Charger Sight. Now, you know what? We might be able to do those chargers. We'll have to see if we can upgrade a charger. Because we knew a charger from before. 
Um, we were able to upgrade the, the chargers. Yeah. Yeah, the scrounger and the burrowers, we don't know. Cauldron out here to learn how to override that. Well, there's some up there. Mini Fox, how are we doing there? And I'll tell you what, though, the game is looking really good. Oh, you can swim. Oh, look at that. Wow. Now how do we go back up? Is her hair going to be... Is she going to be wet? I think... I can't tell, but I think her hair looks wet. Where was that? Up there. go Mini Fox, you played this one, right? You enjoyed it? You did it on uh, PlayStation, though, didn't you? Oh, not feeling well, Stormy? Man, that stinks, buddy. That stinks. Wait a minute, what was the uh, quest? we were supposed to do a dash of courage quest dash of courage oh yeah yeah go to the scrounger site I'll be right back I can grab a drink
Hey, hey, turtles! How's it going? All right. You have all the trophies as well. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm not going to platinum this because I don't platinum nothing. But we will take our time and enjoy this game because I am really enjoying it. You try to get all the Platinums? I know, I know. You are you do such an amazing job with all the games that you play, Mini Fox. I enjoy watching all your playthroughs. I wish I had more time for them. thought it looked like there was a building here. Gosh, this looks so good. Everything about this game. So it wants you to go on the other side of this lake. So it's going to want me to go over there. It's going to want me to go over there. Oh, flip. Anything to see up there. It wants me to go this way, though. There's something there. Pass it'll do a lot of damage. I think it's want me, yeah, it wants me to go to the left of this river. I'll flip. The ship was that sound. Hmm. Wants me, oh, it wants me to go. Ah, it wants me to go up by the hill. Okay, so it wants me to go somewhere up in that way. 
I thought it was want me to go over this way. Hmm. So this is a campfire, though. Let's go get the campfire here. And then we'll come back. This way. wonder if there would be animals here. You would think there would be animals up here in these uh, little bits here. I don't see any animals at all. Weird that I don't see any valuables here either. Weird there wouldn't be any valuables here. I wonder if this is going to be uh, the site of something in the future. Hmm. Want to go get that valuable before I leave here? Before I go off that way? Let's save here. Get this campfire. So now, see, in the first game, these would highlight green, knowing that you've unlocked them. I guess it's just grayed out. And when it turns a more solid white, then you've unlocked it. Maybe like that. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, look at this boat. This is awesome. Exactly what a boat would look like in the apocalypse, right? Because you'd need your metal for more important things. Be a nice, cheap way of making a boat. All right, so as I make these flip off, all right, so as I go flip, as I go to this, okay, so it does give me the two different kinds of arrows now. All right, let's see what we got here. We got. Could try using acid ammo. We got a scrounger there. Got a scrounger there. Burrower. Scrounger. All right, so my guess is we're going to want to go off here to the side. All right. Take care, Manny Fox, and thank you so much for being here and just checking things out, man. I know you enjoy this game, too. Really fun game. All right, so let's go try to take out the... Um, Little prairie dog things. Scroungers. Moldov said I could find a metal panel in one of their scrap piles. Let's see this guy's path.
Oh, flip off. Wow. There's so many of these creatures, man. So many of these creatures. How about we try to go around them? What's that light? Generous cash. How do we get up there? How do we get up there? How would we get there? Can't see. Can't see. All right, so I got to figure out how to get up there. The big question. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. What is that? That looks awesome. Yeah.
All right, so let's go back over here. Try to take these out one at a time over here from the side. If I find the right cauldron, I find out over at this machine. All right, so I want to wait till this one is over here. Hmm. There's nothing to hide back there. Oh, we can go back there. Fall back line. Flip, wrong button. so used to hitting the tab button on that and I don't have any more I don't have any more corrosives flip what do I need I'll flip what do I need for that? Metal bite. Where do I get the flipping metal bite from? All right, so we only needed a couple of those for it to work. Hopefully those creatures have the metal bite on them. I think I have everything I need for Mildiv. Good thing, too. 
I can use a decent meal. I need that metal bite. Wonder where we get the metal bite from. Could use acid against it. Hmm. Turn your head. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice. I'm so used to using the the tab to get more uh, ammo. There we go. So now that's pretty much that for that quest, but I want to go do these other quests while we're here too. Flip and get down. Get down. Get down! There we go. Flip. 
Yeah, the, the, the key bindings are weird. It's just trying to, like, grab them all. Flip. All right, so there was another quest up this direction too, um, which was over here. Let's go there. Which is basically right around the corner of this thing. And then we should be able to fast travel back to the main town to complete two of these quests, gain us some levels, maybe a couple more skill points, then go back and try to get uh, Aram. But this should really help get us pretty solid in here. Good solid start to the game. We're going to go about another half hour, I think. So we may not get to Aram uh, tonight. Um, let me double check uh, schedule. Um, we've got Valheim early tomorrow. We've got Horizon after that for midday. And then we'll come back with Dragon's Dogma to finish out the evening. Uh, the next three, four nights, it looks like. So we'll be making quite a bit of prog progress on that game here over the next couple of nights. Um, and this game here will probably just stay with about three days. Um, about three, three, I'm sorry, about three hours a day. Oh, flip, totally missed. I want to make sure I'm hitting the right arrow. Yeah, those other arrows are really expensive right now. Really liking the look and feel of this game. I just kind of wish the key bindings were... I'll complain about them a little bit more before I still don't do anything about them. I can use shock ammo. We don't have shock ammo. You can ride a machine that you recently scanned. Coming from where on. All right. This one, the charger. Variance charger. Fanghorn. This is insane. What? You mean the way that the game looks? This game looks really good. I'm really happy with the way the game looks. A herd machine that digs up natural resources converted to biofuel. Hmm. PSI overrides unlocked. So we can override this one. I said I'd find his crew. Yeah, I just didn't know if it was a different kind of charger. Or they also said that we had lost... They also said that we had lost all our equipment. And so I didn't know if we lost our override tool. Must be the mine Arnav told me about. 
It looks like the miners are in trouble. From what? What are they in trouble from? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I should have an override of another kind for this. Oh, I can craft. I can craft an acid trap now, too. Frost'll make it brittle. I can't even think straight. That looks like the foreman Arnif mentioned. I should check in with him. You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Uh, uh, Easy. Whew. What happened? Explosion in the mine. The water flooded the whole place. I, some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't, can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use control blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. All right, let's go get the uh, other two. It shouldn't be too rough. What the flip? All right. Got to find those two miners quick. Push objects, underwater boost. What? Oh. Good 
of them doesn't look too good. I think I'm starting to see things. Is that a Nora? Is that a Nora? I think I'm seeing things. Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? <laughs> and I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh, oh flip. Whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. All right. Blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down on top of me. Awesome. Yeah, um, Ali Khan. Yeah, I'm liking both games. Um, we've actually got several games we're working on right now. Um, but these are the two main games right now. And then on, I think it's Tuesday of next week, there's another city builder that comes out that's going to be really good. And that's called Millennia. Um, that one's going to occupy a, a few days of my time. But this, this one and, uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, we're going to be playing that quite a bit over the next couple of weeks. Enjoying both of them. Both of them have some mechanical things that, um... Uh, are a little bit rough on me, but I love the story. I love the RP aspect of them. Really enjoying them. All right, so we want to go here. We want to find the blockage, and yeah. Was there anything else? There's something else over there. Oh, what the flip? What the flip? Why am I caught? What in the hell is going on here? I was caught on something. That was weird. It wouldn't let me move. It's like we got caught on something. What the hell? What? It won't let me get past this. It won't let me go up. It won't let me do anything. What the fuck is going on with this thing? Come on. It won't let me get past that. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Am I supposed... You know, it, it gave me a thing to push off. It's, it's like it won't let me go past this. And this is weird. There we go. That was flipping weird. That was really weird. Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. No. I was like so focused on. There's the mine cart. What am I supposed to do? What'd she just say? Are we hearing animals? 
Are we hearing animals? I think I got a ladder to come back up here. Hmm. Go down. Oh, okay. That's for later. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So that, this will swing. Hmm. Oh, okay, here it is, here it is. I was wondering, like, how was I going to get up there? Flip. There it is. Yeah, I figured it was from the mine cart, but I was like, oh. How do we get... And that ain't it. So it's giving me something to do here. I thought I heard something. Concealing omen. Mature fungus can be struck to release a cloud of spores. Oh, nice. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. A flip, man. I'm yeah, I'm um totally uncomfortable with any of this here. Hmm. You always like the background music? Yeah. Oh, there. Where am I supposed to swing? Where the hell am I swinging from? See, I don't know. I can't see. This problem with the first game. They said swing past unnoticed. I don't know where the flip I'm going, man. Yeah. Hang on a second. I'll be right back, guys.
All right, we're back. Um, yeah, I don't know. The only thing is just go ahead and try it. Clip. Um, got a spore right there. But I can't. Okay, so I can climb up there. Like they didn't hear that? Seriously. All right. Yeah, I did this all wrong. I should have. These are just those uh, little burrowers. Flip off. I think that's all of them. I want to find a way out of this one. Yeah, I should have, um. Yeah, I should have just tried to, um. I need to find a way up to those explosives. I should have just tried to silent strike them. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. I can hide in a cloud of spores if I shoot that.
All right, so I'm supposed to go up that way. <clears throat> yeah, I keep pressing the wrong button to, to craft. said some she said something about finding tracks oh the the rail tracks maybe these tracks here I think these tracks are what I'm supposed to find flip May contain resources. Nope. That's a negative. That is a whole lot of somewhere. There's the explosives up on the track. Just need to get across somehow. Ah, uh, there we go. Right here. So I know we're going to have to do that. To so how was that with the E? And hold it and pull. There it is. There it is. Full, but my stash has room. Here we go. There it is. Bye bye. Corruptor, how you doing? Is that gonna bring out some uh, cre creatures? I did the trick. Oh, what's that got its attention? Oh, flip. That is not the way we were going to go. Oh, flip. We didn't make it. Guess that got its attention. A flip. We can't afford to miss that shot.
Shut the flip up! Oh, flip! Flip! Wrong flipping button, man. Come on! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! These stupid goddamn key bindings are crap. Oh, come on. Flippin', come on! This sucks ass! Flip. Yeah, that pressing an F to craft more ammo, just, I don't know what the right key bind would be, but it's not F. Just does not feel right at all. I mean, tab just takes you straight out to the map. Yeah, I think I, I probably need to go and go ahead and change the keybinds, but I don't know, man. You know, I'm just trying to make it work the way the developers have intended to see if, you know, maybe they made an improvement to make it better. But I'm I'm just so used to the other one right now. It's kind of a pain in the butt. It's got to be a way to get up there and there. that to get there. There's got to be a way to get up there. Oh, here. You know, I bet I was supposed to parkour from there to there before I let the water out.
where'd it go? <laughs> I went down there. Let me just get down. There we go. Alright, so now we need to return to the miners. She's so dead. We don't know that. did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Yeah. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. Alright, return to Corvin now. Clip. Wait on that. Come on, up we go. Just give me a minute. Look out, right on my head. Oh, flip. What is that? I wonder what makes these crystals grow. Come on. Up we go. Uh, hybridized crystalline and fungal growth of unknown origin. Invulnerable to impact. Special gear required to clear it. Found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvut, <sighs> kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Nice! Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And Two skill can... points! So nice. Later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Nice. Face paint unlocked. Nice. Why do I need to talk to you again? Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Right? Oh, look. These things I picked up earlier have grown back now. That's awesome.
Patty Kathy? I don't know, man. I'll uh go check him out again. could teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? Snow's coming down heavy. There we go. All right, so I don't know how many of those um, hides we've gotten. Inventory. Um, resources. Key upgrade resources. Gear upgrade resources. Pouch upgrade resources. All right, I think we've got enough to upgrade a couple of those pouches when we get back to town. That's good. All right. Let's um get this. There we go. I think it's weird that all that stuff gets sent to the stash. What the flip?
We use the workbench. Touch upgrades. A arrows. That'll be good. Resource pouch. Upgraded. Good. Uh, rabbit hide. Peccary bone. What the flip is a peccary? And squirrel hides. I haven't seen squirrels yet, I don't think. Squirrel bones. Vulture feathers. Goose feathers. Outfit weapon upgrades. We can upgrade um, our bow again. The third level. Got everything we need on that. Very nice. Now that opens up a coil slot. Nice. Um, this one here. We can... Oh, we haven't upgraded that. Oh, braided wire. Hmm. All right, this one. Empty slot. How do we do that? Weapon upgrades, modifiers. I don't know. That's fine. All right, a coil slot has been un unlocked. Coils can be equipped on weapons to improve their performance. Tap R when viewing the weapon in your inventory to modify its coils. Oh, flip off. Flip off. Run. Run, Nora girl. Ah. Ah. Are they going to just go away or what? Walk away. There we go. They're finally calming down. I think these people all left now. Yeah, these people all left. They're all gone. We look like a pig. A J feather. All right. Where we need to go now? We've got, uh, we don't have any more things here. We do have something on the other side over here that's unknown. Um, we could go there while we're here. But I do kind of want to finish some of this stuff up.
The dash of courage. He's going to teach us something there. Hmm. Let's go here. That's only 124 meters. It should be easy. I don't see anybody here. Tower at the top of that cliff. I wonder if there's anything still inside. Right? <laughs> Looks like the path out broke a long time ago. I'm gonna have to climb. Really? Over this way. Oh, flip. There we go. Wasn't prepared for that. It's going to be another signal device. Flip, 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 flip. What you got? Oh, your your uh, rel your your uh, sub. Oh man, yeah, Corruptor, That sounds really amazing. Been out of Jersey almost 19 years, but you're still Jersey. You can take Corruptor out of Jersey, but you can't take Jersey out of Corruptor, is what you're saying, right? All right, the lens of dawn, a dome-shaped piece of glass that reflects light recovered from a Karja signal tower. Now, we've got that. Good. Um, can we fast travel here? There we go. Here we go. You know what? Hmm. I know everyone wants to hear my job. <laughs> Almost ready to go. Here we 
we go. There you are. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt. Instead of two. Uh, wow. Each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Here we go. Look at this. This is awesome. Going to learn a recipe, aren't we? Wow. Mildef, that was inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. Another skill point. Food provides temporary benefits and skill boost. Mildred's meal has reduced your concentration recovery time. Bring ingredients to cooks throughout the world to purchase food. Only one food effect can be active at a time. That's nice. That would be a good idea to stock up on some food before I head back out. Mm, see what else Mildred's cooking up. Right? And then what about our friend here? He was supposed to be at the tavern. Is this her? Nope. Our friend was supposed to be here. Said she'd be at the tavern. But I don't see her. I don't see her. be another section what is this hmm. machine strike beginner what? Machine Strike Beginner. Let's check that out before we finish. Wait a minute. Is it in the building? Or is it down here? That's inside there. There. There she is. Come for that beer after. There we go. Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? <laughs> There's that spark. Look at those mugs. Now that's a way to drink. Fire and spit. Copper it must be a Moscow mule. That's a blast from the bellows. 
Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Take your pick. We got bodies to bury from the bristlebacks, the work stoppage, Olven grating the gears about his concession decree. Hey! Weapons off the table! Mm. Ah. Ah. Don't listen to me. Nothing a cold brew and knocking some heads together can't fix eventually. Uh, Stormy, I hope you start feeling better, man. Seriously. So about Olvind. Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A rip pig diddle. all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osra municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the magistrate will sign. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's got to be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. So the bristlebacks in the daunt. <laughs> Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But I heard talk of some vanguards trying to take them down. Did they come through here? Stop by briefly for supplies. Olvind was none too pleased. Won't be able to crank it to his advantage once the Bristlebacks are gone. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvind? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, I, uh, I have to be going. Thanks for the drink, Petra. I'm glad I stopped by. Anytime, flame hair. Flame hair. All right. So, um, yeah, we'll leave this here. We'll uh, come back. Uh, can I save here? Flip. No. All right. Um, let's go out to the uh, flip. Eyes are up here. Flip. Whatever. All right. It should be a uh, fire out here somewhere. Yeah, out the other way. There we go. All right. But we'll come back with this uh, tomorrow around lunchtime. And we'll uh, get a couple more hours done on this. But uh, we're going to take a little break here. And then we'll be back with some Call of Duty. Appreciate everybody. If you guys did enjoy this, don't forget to hit the thumbs up there. Appreciate you all so much. And we'll catch you soon.